fight commentary breakdowns here. Here we have, look at this. This is a Wing Chun guy, Xiao Long, which means little dragon. Unless he's using a different character, but a lot of people are like, Oh my god, Gary, you know some people who actually do Wing Chun. Well, he's obviously doing Wing Chun. Beyond obviously doing Wing Chun. Look at all that. He's got very different frames. Very different footwork. Very different hand structure. Look at that. Ooh, that could have connected. Ooh, that was good. So he's taken up. Street Beefs calls this a brawler. By the way, very big shout out. Street Beef Scrapyard for this. And look at that. He's looking for his back fist right there. The brawler is telegraphing his kicks. So... Looks like he got him down there. Our Wing Chun guy says he's okay. I like the foot being raised. Ooh, he's got kicks that launch while the knee is in the air. So he doesn't let his knee down. Right, that's pretty cool. Savat has that too. Oof, not a good response by Wing Chun guy sometimes when he's struck. But it's okay. So he's covering up, which is good. Ooh, nice. Don't just cover up. Dude, I love these combos. He's really applying some very, very, very evident Wing Chun, guys. I don't want anyone, if anyone's going to still say, he's not doing Wing Chun, I think you need to leave this channel, seriously. So, shout out Xiao Long and shout out his opponent. That was a great little, oh, look at that. I love this. Nice, dude. Let's see if this... Unfortunately, the clock is going to save our brawler, but Wing Chun Guy has a lot of great combos that you normally don't see within your standard type of MMA style. So here they go. He checked a kick. I think he's a little bit too square, but our Wing Chun Guy is definitely relying on his reactions, and sometimes he does get his head off center line, but... You know, he also has speed, right? It's reaction speed and head off center line. But unfortunately, that was really cool little unexpected takedown defense where he rolled it. That was an elbow. Oof. So, nice. His um, roundhouse kicks haven't done too much damage. And he has this bad habit of almost... What is the right word I'm trying to say? He... Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. The brawler obviously didn't understand anything about grappling. So that was a good little victory by Wing Chun Guy. But see, right there, the flinch response right there. But still, I guess when in doubt, if you know your opponent doesn't know anything about grappling, just choke him. Especially if he's tired, right? The opponent was gassed. So we have another match with Xiao Long. Also, courtesy of Street Beef Scrapyard. Here's another one. Wow, he's fighting a guy that looks like Ryu. This is Jay Monkey, by the way. Shout out Jay Monkey. Ooh, Jay Monkey is... Wow. Jay Monkey is aggressive, but you can't just uh, charge face first, Dre. Right? Got him pinned against the cage. Shalom briefly reversed it, but he's pinned against the cage again. Um, a little bit of... A wrestling pummel against the cage. Xiaolong has double underhooks. It looks like, no, he's got an under and an over. Very good takedown defense by Xiaolong. Now, wild punches under and over by Jay Monkey. Jay Monkey trying to take the back, but Xiaolong's not letting him. Now Xiaolong has him a little bit on the ground. Oh, Xiaolong has gotten reversed. Now he's on the ground. He has put J Monkey in guard. By the way, how cool, guys, how cool is this footage, this great editing by Street Beef Scrapyard. So, Xiaolong has decent ground fighting, right? Decent. Especially seeing that J Monkey is not really looking and swinging wildly, right? Partly because Xiaolong's controlling his head pretty well, so... He's not able to really see where he's striking. He's more feeling. So, unfortunately, Cello needs to get out of this as quick as possible. Maybe try a sweep or something. Or maybe try a submission. Oof. Not a good position for 
sell low. In fact, if I were to give the round now based on where it's at, it's definitely J Monkey's round. So I'll probably speed it up. Not to say I'm not interested in grappling, just because we're here to watch him use Wing Chun, and this is just jujitsu. So that was the end of the first round. Let's see if there's a change in strategy if Xiao Long is gonna try to not get on the ground. Much easier said than done. Ooh, our J Monkey is really tired, you can tell. He is very tired. So Xiao Long probably can, yeah. This level of lead with the face, great sidekick by Xiao Long. Heads right there, man, Xiao Long. You can do it. Heads right there. Heads right there. Great stomping kick. There it is. There it is. That's what I'm talking about. Yep, exactly. His face was too open, man. Watch this. Great stomping kick, but his hands were too low. Look at this right there. He ate a roundhouse kick to the face plus another cross to the face. Watch this. Lead roundhouse kick to the face plus a cross. Wow. And it was a Wing Chun variety punch. So that was a... Knockout right there. So, this was J Monkey versus Xiao Long. This is J Monkey versus Ninja Steve. And this looks like a boxing match. So, shout out our Xiao Long for being able to. Wow, fast punches. Right? Xiao Long putting his Wing Chun to the test in multiple ways. Great body shot by Ninja Steve. So Ninja Steve is, if he's boxing trained, he's going to rely a little bit more on head movement. You can tell him kind of parrying some of the shots, right? And then Xiao Long is going to, if he's going to stick to Wing Chun, there's going to be a lot more what I call destruction. So he's going to sort of block with his elbows a little more, block with his forearms a little more. And also his punches are going to be a lot more like a rain. Ouch, that hurt a lot. Whereas Ninja Steve's punches are going to be a little bit more like a hammer. Oh, nice. So Xiao Long's definitely tagging Ninja Steve more. But Ninja Steve is tagging Xiao Long harder and more to the body. So, oof, ow, that was a great double lead jab well, lead jab jab but i'm trying to say because Xiao Long switches his stance right so whichever foot is in front oof ouch you see what i'm talking about the hooks plus the punches are hitting Xiao Long much harder oof this is a standing count right there yeah oof wow so again Props to him, right? Because Xiao Long's weapons are much more limited in just a boxing match, but he still wanted to try it. So, winner is Ninja Steve. I think Xiao Long's one of our favorites. Seriously, one of our favorites to watch out for. If you haven't subscribed to Street Beef Scrapyard, subscribe. This is one of my other channels that's not related to martial arts. I just wanted to show you in case you don't know how to subscribe. Probably should just press join too, by the way. Look at that. It's only $1.99 a month, people. All right, guys, this was Fight Commentary Breakdowns. Big shout out to Xiao Long, aka Little Dragon, and shout out to all the people that he went up against.